Hello, I'm JQ. I'm TQ. We're the Q Brothers, and this is Small Flower TV. We have a very special guest here today. Uh, Miss Mariko Sato Marcel is here visiting us from New York. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes. We've, it's our pleasure, and part of the pleasure is, well, much of the pleasure is meeting you, but also you're here representing the line Chidoria from Kyoto, Japan. Yes. Exciting new line. Which we have been really excited to bring in. Uh, it's something we've been looking at for a little while and just decided it was time to take the plunge, and I think, I, I think we couldn't have made a better decision. It's really exciting. So we're here to talk today about this... Um, very interesting and unique line that we're carrying and hear a little bit of the history and maybe talk about and try a few of the products. Um, and we'll probably do a few videos, but I think this would be great to get to know a little bit more about you and about this line. Uh, and let's well, jump right into the backstory, if you can give us a little of that. Sure. Uh, Chidoria was established back in 1949 in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, in its first year, we focused on making uh, beauty uh, goods, original beauty goods, and special handbags for Geisha and Michael girls in Kyoto. Wow! <laughs> the Geisha and Michael girls of that generation were fashion and beauty uh, uh, trendsetters in Kyoto. Makes sense. Yes, and over the past 60 years, uh, our reputation of the products established our uh, unique clientele, mm -hmm. uh, comprising fashion and beauty professionals. And uh, our uh, we, we offer a beautiful uh, organic and natural skincare line, uh, hair care line, and uh, handmade, uh, handcrafted uh, beauty goods. Uh, cosmetic bodies yeah. from Japan. Uh, most of our products contains uh, uh, traditional ingredients that has been uh, beauty secret in Japan for centuries. Great. So and and just to be clear, the skincare line and these mm -hmm. organic goods that you said, I think. Those were more recent. This is the second generation. Yes. It's a family business, correct? Yes, it's a family business, and this organic skincare line was created by Tomomi Borukiri, uh, who is a makeup artist. He's very well known. Okay. So she's. She very, is very, yeah. yes, very The daughter, well correct? Yes, the second daughter and current owner of Chidorieko. Okay. And she is genius creating this organic and uh, natural skincare lines. They are they are beautifully packaged. And also effective. Yeah. Yes, it's very effective. So you started to talk about the ingredients. They are beautifully packaged, and we'll get into that as well. Um, but tell us about the ingredients. So when we asked you, this line is large, so we've only picked out today a few of the, for this video, just so because there would be so much to cover, a few of the sort of rep products that would represent some of the unique ingredients uh, that you know, the line incorporates. And I think you talked about camellia oil as yes. being a foundational ingredient, correct? Yes, yes. So, oil. yeah. This oil, uh, it's a camellia seed oil. It's uh, known as tea seed oil. It's tea not, seed oil? Yes, tea seed oil. It's green tea family. Uh, camellia oil has been used in Japan for a century for face care, food, uh, many things. It's you even said it, hair. even you can pop, put on wood and yes. on the swords, and the metal swords to prevent them from rusting, right? Yes, they That's used to great. use that for that reason. Uh, this is mainly composed of oleic acid, it's omega-9. Sure, rich. oleic acid. Yes, mm -hmm. our skin contains uh, approximately 41% of oleic acid in it. Mm -hmm. That's why a quickly absorb and deeply penetrating and it's very rich in vitamin E. And the, with this oil is how much in oleic acid did you say? 86%. 86%, so more than double yes. what your skin, skin yeah. naturally has. Yes, wow. exactly. Because this is a <laughs> hand-pressed hand pressed, uh, comedia oil by a small family-owned company. They are mm -hmm. about 70 years old. Uh, there is close to 10% difference between, uh, in the oleic acid content between hand-pressed or machine, uh, uh, machine uh, uh, yes. So this is so precious. They, they, it takes so much effort to and time to make this this much oil. Wow. 
So how would one use this oil? So can we sure. try a little bit and tell me in, in a, you know, someone who's purchasing this in a regular, in a regular beauty routine, what would be some of the uses? Yes. Well, we you can apply directly on your skin, the face, body or hair is excellent. It has balancing, soothing, conditioning, it's wonderful conditioning properties. No chemicals in it, no yeah. fragrances. Well, say it smells just very it's nutty. nutty and yeah. simple like the like a seed, like you would expect a seed yes. to smell. If uh, I know that you sell jojoba oil, mm -hmm. if uh, someone's very into a vegetable oil, mm -hmm. please uh, tell them to try this one because I think it's even more moisturizing. It is certainly yeah. silkier. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of it's the silkiest oils, even with that little bit. It quickly absorbs and mm. it doesn't leave the doesn't greasiness. Doesn't leave the greasiness, but it does leave it silky. Yeah. Yes. It's very wow. nice. So it's great oh, it's for this. Uh, we sell so much of this oil. It's very popular. I mean, I love like I'm. I have skin stuff uh, on my scalp that gets oh, dry. Oh, it's good this for you. Perfect. Yes, yeah. yes. It also promotes hair growth and prevent hair loss. Nice. It's good for uh, dandruff problem. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm dealing with. Yeah, yes. it's like flakes and you things. You can do scalp massage mm -hmm. with the oil uh, before shampoo. And also after shampoo, you know, you can use it as a conditioner. Yeah. Yes, a little bit, just rub it in, and then uh, towel dry. Wow. Yes. It's exciting. Exciting, yeah. Because usually, I, I, the reason that I used to use or I use jojoba oil so much is mm -hmm. that I find that the oils that are thinner, like mm -hmm. um, sesame or grapeseed, or grapeseed, mm -hmm. are, don't absorb as well. Mm -hmm. But this seems to have both absorb. properties: yes. absorb, yes. and you know, and it also remains not oily. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. I Real. think because it's hand pressed, it's so pure, and you can you can feel it. It yeah. absorbs right into the skin. Yeah, uh, right. if my hand feels it's out of smooth as I felt. It's um, I've been working all day and grab papers and everything, and I just feel like. You have beautiful hands. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you too. Yeah, thank you. Wow, that is so nice. That's awesome. Yeah, wow, that's and exciting. a nice compliment so, for our hands to boot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good day on Small Flower TV. <laughs> so is this, is this ingredient in most of the products that you have? Yes, because of these wonderful properties, we we add the comedia oil in our soaps, like facial soap, for example. Yeah, let's talk about this soap. I know we're going to talk about more about it in another video, but tell us about it. This unique puck of soap. It's just such a simple. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the packaging, I don't know if you can see this, and I know it's in plastic, but inside is a paper bag that is beautiful. I, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've never seen any packaging like so. The design is gorgeous. There are these strings that look like they are hand-tied, yes. these strings that are coming throughout yeah. the product, and the paper itself is just... What, uh, what kind of paper? What kind of paper? Tell the us. Japanese uh, high quality washi paper. Washi paper. Yes, it has a nice texture. It's almost like a fabric feel. Yeah. <laughs> and you were saying this particular paper uh, is not even sold in the United States. Correct? I have never seen it. And people yeah. ask uh, if we sell the paper. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to buy the soap to get the paper. <laughs> yes, <exactly. laughs> I, I, it's, it's almost, when I look at this, I have to say, when I first saw some of the products, I don't want to open it up to get the soap because it's such a pretty object in general that I almost think you're hurting yourself a little bit, but I'm going to open it up and I'm going to use it. But I do love looking at the design itself. I mean, whether it's for it's yourself striking, or, yeah, as a, yeah. or as a gift for someone who appreciates mm -hmm. fine goods, I just, I think all of it has this very, it's, it's this mix between completely handmade and simplicity and also el pure elegance and almost a luxury feel. It's this nice mix that I've never, you know, I've, ne I've not out. seen quite the mix in, in any other line that I've ever looked at. So yeah. I was really impressed. You got it right. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's perfect way to put it, yes. That's, this is my day. I'm just, I don't even you need to move to Chicago and hang out with us all the time. I, I like your I style. <laughs> Let's look at the bottom. I would like to see this. This yes, is so. Yes. This is um, a it's toner. A yeah? toner. Yes, yeah. made of all natural and it's hard water called uh, Japanese name ghetto. It's kind of ghetto. <laughs> Keeping it ghetto. That's, that's G style. Keeping it ghetto. Yeah. 
Yeah, Alpine, I hesitate. This is this, this is Alpinia. Alpinia, Terumbet. That's ghetto. Yes. Okay. Alpinia or oh, Alpinia speciosa leaves. We use this uh, the plant leaf part. It's a to part make a of hybrid a, yes, a part of ginger family. It's native to Okinawa, Japan, wow. and it's got so much uh, polyphenols, antioxidants. Uh, in it. Mm. Say, say the name out loud, just so the people watching know what the you said the toner, but this oh, is, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's called Peach Moon Herbal Face Water. Yes. Peach. So it has two ingredients. One is the hydrosol of this yes. this unique na plant uh, native to Okinawa that's part mm -hmm. of the ginger family, mm -hmm. and the other one is the grapefruit seed, seed extract. extract, which we know has a natural antimicrobial properties. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, it's so preserve, and preserve so and like would kill as a toner would kill any bacteria and things like that. On the so side. double exactly. double action is great. Exactly, I didn't have to say anything. <laughs> well, we know a few things, not as much as you, but I think we know something. So, so do you want the yeah? best part? Yes, best oh. part. Isn't it soothing? Yeah, and it smells great. This polyphenol. The study shows that this polyphenol in the peach moon water mm -hmm. is. 34 times more than what's in red wine. Wow. You know red wow. wine has antioxidants. And red wine is considered something that they talk about mm -hmm. as higher the levels. Best, yeah. The best antioxidant, but wow. actually the Japanese scientist uh, announced that this one has 34 times more polyphenols in it. So. What is the smell like? It reminds me of. I mean, it's you can, green. yeah, it's green yes. with a, there's it's a not even, yeah, I was going to say, there's, yes, you can, yes. you can yes. smell the touch of, it's not ginger, but you can understand when you hear that it's part of the ginger family, there's a little pungent spice in there, mm -hmm. yes, uh, yes. along with the greenness. So, I, I mean, a lot of people like the alcohol, but this one, it mm -hmm. would be great, it has good astringent properties, mm -hmm. yes. antibacterial, because a lot of, for me, the issue is, I notice if I forget to put on aftershave, or if I'm mm -hmm. careless, after shaving and without, you know, I, I do something and then I touch my skin, then I start getting ingrown hairs or mm -hmm. little, you know, yeah. razor bumps. But if I'm, if I have a good something good like this and I'm careful with washing my hands and not touching myself after I shave for a little while, then it's it's clear. So I'm excited yes. to try this. The peach moon water can help enhance the skin structure by um, the encouraging the collagen synthesis mm -hmm. with hyaluronic acid. It's a humectant, okay. and uh, you know you you can see and you can feel you feel younger and skin becomes firmer and just healthy. Yeah, and yeah. It's all well, natural. You must be you're a good example of it because you have yeah. good skin. You so you both? Yeah. Me already <laughs> <laughs> I use a little bit. I, I use a little bit. I am not used before. So, <laughs> so I'm excited um, too. But I can. Should we just talk? We didn't talk about any ingredients, or you want to get into the soap on another video? We'll talk about the soap on the next video, but let's look at let's quickly look at the uh, these lip balms. Yes, it has because this has the camellia oil. oil. Yes, yeah? because the camellia oil is so nourishing mm -hmm. and soothing. It's so moisturizing. So we made two different balms. Mm -hmm. They both for uh, lip balm or uh, this hinoki balm can be used on anyway. anything. Okay. Multi purpose. Uh, hinoki is a Japanese cypress. It has a nice, oh. pleasing, woody scent. Yeah. It's very healing, uh, calming, and relaxing aromatherapy. Do you want to? Are we open? Yeah. So they both have camellia, beeswax, and rosehip. And yes. the difference is yuzu and hinoki. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Only four ingredients uh, each. I, I really like them. I When you first sent some samples that we tried, I have the yuzu sitting on my nightstand and my wife and I put on after wash your face and I in bed I put it on every night and I really like it. It's oh, great. I said uh, you, try, do you want to try the other one? Yeah sure. I know that you already sold out of Yuzu at the the other I region. know. So before I you were even here to train us great. we sold it out. Yeah. Really? It just yeah. sold itself because it's it has an uplifting citrus mm -hmm. scent of yeah, Yuzu. Yes. Type mm, yes. I haven't tried the Hinoki yet, but I really like it. Hinoki, you you can use it to massage around your neck, this area. Mm -hmm. It really helps to soothe and calm and like help with anxiety. Well, that's great because when oh, you have a brother like me, good. like mine, you get a lot of anxiety. So oh, I'm, I'm always stiffening up over here because. You know, he's late for doing videos, he's, I don't know. I was on time today. <laughs> anyway, I'll call that the bad brother bomb, so 
Um, I think it'll work. Yes, this for always, headaches. Yeah. Yes, for yeah. headaches. It feels, what, what do you have headaches for? You just work when you I have this brother who calls me a bad brother. <laughs> I call it bad, bad brother. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're both really excited. If you can't tell, this line is something that we are. Um, I just everything is so simple and feels so nourishing. And that's what I, I like. Just, is that you look at it and you don't say what's that? I mean, only, and if you do, it's only in a good way. It's only because you've never heard of it so, before, but not because it's filled with complicated things that are chemicals. Yeah, yeah chemicals and other things. It's so simple, and yet, I it, it's not. I don't know, like I said, I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm really excited. And the whole staff has been so excited about this. So for us, this is extra special that you would come out here today and give us the primer and sit and do a video. I know it's not easy to sit between two loud uh, you know, talkers and, and do this, but thank you. We're really excited about Chidora. Thank you. Mariko, so thank you for coming thank here. You guys yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, thank you. And uh Thank you for watching Small Fire TV. We'll see you next time.